is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another episode of my damn hauls and today we have this massive box of WWE action figures. We got some rare ones in here. We got some epic ones in here. And we have some commission custom figures coming in from my boy, TJ. Whoa, I'm... Or Undisputed Brotherhood, as everybody knows him. My boy, TJ, one of my best friends in this community. I absolutely love the man to death. He is one of the inspirations to My Damn Toys. I, I originally started watching him, and then his content was so awesome that I was like, man, I really want to get on YouTube and do this thing, and here we are today. So without TJ, there would not be a My Damn toys so thank you so much brother and thank you so much for this awesome box and it looks so great you guys can see he wrote my damn toys right there i covered our addresses because we know that there's some freaks out there trying to come over here and freaking get in our business and just wiggly waggly woogly whoa i'm anyways we're gonna get into this box you guys can see it is actually a wrestling crate right here it says wrestling crate so it fits the theme of the box and i have uh, took the liberty and already cut it open you guys can see we have an audience back there we got the mdt live and vindication commentary crews we got Ricochet back there. They're sort of watching in on today's video, but we're going to spin it around here, I think. Oh, wait, maybe I had it right, you stupid idiot moron. But we're going to lift this up, and we're going to unbox this thing. Maybe I didn't know. Okay, so I got it. We're just going to open this up, and my God almighty, I haven't opened it yet, so this is my first time taking a look, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys, and we're going to take a look at everything, and I can't wait to do it. So I guess we can just unbag it right here, and this right here, I'll take it out. I already know what this is. This is supposed to be one of the custom figures that I'm going to do for him. We're going to do a NXT TakeOver New Orleans Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Gargano is what we're going to be using this for. He doesn't have the head or arms. I actually have the head or arms. I have an extra Johnny Gargano. Organo basic that I'm going to pop the arms and head on here and it's going to be all beautiful so we're going to get that Johnny wrestling going right there so there's one of his custom figures the next custom figure is an Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler, I do believe. He fixed it up. He switched on the, the nicer arms. Got the smaller arms. Got the ponytail head skin. He, he hates this attire so much. And he said, will you fix it up? So I said, of course, bro. So we sent it on over. And we're going to turn this in. I don't know what we're going to do exactly yet, but we're going to figure that out. So he sent us over at Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler, one of my favorite wrestlers. You guys know that. What else do we have? Okay, next up we have a cash-in Seth Rollins. What a nice figure this is. What he wants with this one is he wants to turn this into a 2018 Rollins. Uh, so Money in the Bank 2018 is the specific attire that he wants. So he wants me to acetone off the SR logo, add the belt buckle, add some chest hair, come in here, add the gray details, add some gold trim to the boots. It's going to be a really nice figure. I love this head scan on this. This Toys R Us cash-in exclusive Seth looks so good. I, I freaking love this. Beautiful looking figure. So there we have Seth freaking Rollins. The next figure is a top talent Finn Balor. And what he wanted for this one is he wanted a red attire fin. So we're going to take this and we're going to make it look like one of these red attires. I'm not sure which one. Maybe maybe I can sort of fantasy it up. I don't know. We haven't discussed everything, but I'm sure he'll either let me free roam it or he'll pick a specific tire, attire that he wants and he knows that I'll, I'll deliver on that. I love working on fins. You guys know I, I love to customize Finn Balors and stuff like that. One of my favorite wrestlers. So we got my man Finn Balor in the house. I think this is the fifth and final. Is this the final commission? No, this is this is another commission. So we have a bunch of customs. I We, we made a deal, and I'll, I'll show you guys the deal here. Um, this is a Marty Skrull, and what we're going to do is we're going to touch this up. There's some like damage to the head. There's some damage on the trunks, and there, there's a lot of things going on with this. So we're going to make this into a fixed up Marty Skrull. It's it's all beat up. It's all beat to hell, but we're, we're going to fix it, and it's going to look nice. And so, yeah, you guys can see it's all paint chipped to hell, and and yeah, we're, we're going to fix this thing up, but this is going to be a Marty Skrull figure. And last but not least, I think this is the last commission piece. Maybe there's a, uh, I think there's a title belt in there somewhere, but this is one of the last commission pieces. We have a Cody Rhodes, and um, what we have here is the parts to make that. First of all, we have the... Attitude Era, Amazon, Amazon exclusive. We thought it was Amazon exclusive, then everybody picked it up, right? But here's Chris Jericho. We're going to use this, these Victor lower legs, and this Stardust head scan, and we're going to make a American Nightmare Cody freaking Rhodes. So 
You thought it was Seth freaking Rollins? No, it's Cody freaking Rhodes. Come on now. So we have all of that. And then the rest of this stuff is the trade. So I'm going to do all of that custom work for him in exchange for these figures. And you guys know he was downsizing his collection. And since he was downsizing his collection and he's one of my best friends, he said, you know what, bro? Just pick out some stuff that you want. You can make these customs for me and you can have all this stuff. So the rest of this stuff is completely, you know, th this is for me to have. And oh my God, I think he threw this in. I did not know we were getting this. We have a fix-up custom Kevin Owens in the house looking great. It's an Elite 43 fix-up. Got the prize fighter with the white KO on there. Looking nice. Continuing to expand the, the Kevin Owens collection, guys. How many Kevin Owens is this now? We're going to have to have a recount after this video. So there is Kevin Owens with the prize fighter attire. Love that figure. Next up, we have another Kevin Owens, and it is the Elite Series 63. So we have uh, yet again another Owens again. So uh, like we're going to have to do a recount, guys because he's, he's creeping up on Seth Rollins for the second most of one guy in my collection. So we have two Kevin Owens figures looking great. I like this head scan so much better than the Elite 63 head scan, the one that's shaved and all ugly and just terrible awfulness or oh, horrific and just terrible. What else we got? Okay, here, okay, here's the little fodder pieces. We threw this in, and this is going to be a, a fix-up at some point. We have the Elite 43 Samoa Joe. It's just a, it's like a fodder piece he's missing his kick pads I do believe and I figured I could use this for either a custom Joe or I can use the biceps for Kevin Owens or something so we have some Samoa Joe fodder I think this title belt he wants it to get repainted so we're going to repaint that so that goes into the customs on top of all those figures I have to customize this belt Going back into the bag, we have a Finn Balor head scan. I'm going to touch this up. It is one of the basic Finn Balor heads. I like this head a lot better than the ringside exclusive one. So I, I appreciate this head scan, and I like this, fig or this, this head scan. So I'm fine with that. Next up, we have another head scan. It is the Daniel Bryan head scan, a.k.a. the Kenny Omega head scan. You guys know I like the beard. Oh, my God, I dropped it on the floor. You guys know I like this head scan for my Kenny Omega customs with a long beard, so we'll, we'll shave this down. We'll put a DDP hair piece on there, and it will be a beautiful-looking Kenny Omega. And then we have the extra hands to a Kurt Angle Elite Series 66 figure. Digging back into our big box of figures, we have a fix-up Elite 47 AJ Styles. Let's go ahead and take him out of his baggie. And here it is looking great. Always room for some AJ Styles in my collection. You guys can see it is the Elite 47 AJ Styles, but with blue knee pads and Elite 56 kick pads on there. So it's a nice fix up AJ. I've seen a bunch of people do this and TJ did it here as well and it looks great. Great AJ Styles figure. What else we got in here? We have another Kevin Owens. So we have the Elite Series 63. We have the Elite Series 53. 53. 43. And then we have the Elite Series. Oh, so we have, look at that. I didn't even know they did that, guys. Look at this right here. They have Elite Series 43 Kevin Owens, Elite Series 53 Kevin Owens, and then Elite Series 63 Kevin Owens. And we had an Elite 47, I do believe. So just like that, I guess they do uh, they do a new Kevin Owens every 10 series. Something to think about for sure. That's wild. I never, I ne I've literally never even thought about that. Next up, we have a Randy Orton fix-up figure, and this is fantastic. I love this so much. We have a Elite 35 Randy Orton with my favorite basic head scan of Randy Orton. You guys will see there. I love this head scan. Got the blue trunks on there. Got the nice open knee pads. He did switch out the knee pads for the open ones, make them more accurate. And what a great-looking Randy Orton figure, man. Can you imagine if we did a torso swap with this and the new figure? I need to get a new Elite Series 67 Randy Orton, do a torso swap, a head swap. I think it would look freaking flames. What else do we have? We have an accessory, and he threw this in just in time for the MDT Royal Rumble. I got a door accessory. I think this is from Jax, I do believe. You know, it can go into the MDT Extreme Division, so I'm happy with that. I think, does this break in half? What is that, rubber? Okay, so that, that like, opens up right there for some reason. That's awkward, but you know what? That's a, such a nice, detailed Jax accessory, man. Jax always delivering on the great accessories. Going back in here, we have another... Finn Balor, but this one is for me and not for TJ. This one is part of the deal here. It is a ringside exclusive Finn Balor, taking him out of the baggie. 
Am I bleeding again, man? God dang. So here we have the ringside exclusive Finn Balor, and we're going to take that extra head scan wherever it went. It probably fell on the freaking floor like Daniel Bryan's head did. But we have the ringside exclusive Finn Balor, and we're going to switch that head scan. We're probably going to do a cool fix-up with this attire, and this is only my second one. I think I did a top talents head swap on my other one. I'm probably going, I may do a top talents head swap and then switch around some parts. I don't know, we're gonna make a fire fix up out of that Finn Balor though, so that looks great. Next up, we have a Samuel Zayn figure. Cannot wait for him to return from injury, whether it's, you know, after Mania. I'm sure it'll be after Mania though, don't you think? I mean, for sure it's gonna be after Mania. But here, I think this is the Elite 40. No, Elite 51, I, I can't remember. Which one is it down below? guys. Is it Elite 51? I can't remember. Let me know down in the comment section below, but here we have the TNF head scan on there. Got the nice hand tape. Really good looking Sami Zayn. I love his figures. I don't know why. I think they're so super underrated are the Sami Zayn figures. So we got the Sami Zayn Elite. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff building up right here. We're kind of running over here. Um, next up, we have some fodder, and it is the phenomenal AJ Styles. So we have some AJ Styles figures continuing. We have the Elite 51. I actually lost my Elite Series 51 doing a custom so I'm glad to have this back I easily have some AJ Styles arms in my fodder box or something I can just throw onto this guy and we'll fix them all up and everything I've seen some really sweet AJ Styles fix-ups where you you'd swap the kick pads onto other AJ figures and they look mind-blowing so I'd like to do that when I get a couple more speaking of which we have another AJ Styles and this one is the opposite of that Elite 47 that we saw earlier so you have the Elite 47 with the Elite 56 kick pads, and then you have the Elite 56 with the Elite 47 kick pads, and look how nice that looks with the black knee pads. Got the blue elbow pad on there, as well as the blue gloves. What a sweet figure. You got that first head scan on there. Great looking AJ Styles figure. Perfect into the AJ Styles collection, continuing to grow the phenomenal one into the MDT collection. So that's perfect stuff. Next up, we have a newer figure, and it is the Elite Series 66 Kurt Angle. Very happy to have this. I am going to be doing a fix-up with this, so that is perfect. I wanted to have a regular version with the wrestling shoes, and then I guess on the next episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, we'll fix this guy up and make him look how I want him to look um, if he ever appears in the pick fed. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I wanted to do like sort of a mixture of old and new, so we're going to be doing that for Elite Series 66 Kurt Angle. Second to last figure here, guys, we have the entrance greats Jeff Hardy with the green face paint. Love this figure to death. And this figure is actually kind of expensive now. So I'm very happy that TJ was willing to part ways with it and include it in our deal. So thank you so much for that, bro. Beautiful looking figure. Can't get enough of this. I love the head scan. I love the body. You could easily switch it with any other Jeff Hardy and it'll make sense. So great looking Jeff Hardy figure. And now we are moving on to our final figure in this massive WWE figure unboxing. And it is a figure that I absolutely love. You guys know that I I love this figure and I have actually never owned one that had the Elite Series 37 head scan on it and it is the Elite 45 Seth Rollins with the Elite 37 head scan. How beautiful is that right there? I love that so very much. The one thing that he said that we'll point out is that they misaligned the gold line on his thigh right here but I told him that's no big deal. This this will probably end up being a custom Rollins anyway, and I can easily switch this head scan onto another figure. I love this head scan. One of my favorite Rollins head scans, and now I have another one, so very good stuff. Thank you so much, TJ, for all of this epic stuff. I love this. What we need to do is uh, round all this up, because you guys will look, look at this massive mess we got. Just massive pile full of WWE figures. I'm going to set everything up so we can take a look at our entire haul that we got here today from my boy, TJ. And here is our entire haul all lined up up today guys huge shout out to tj undisputed brotherhood for the absolutely massive haul thank you so much bro love you to death one of my best friends like i said in this community always a bro always helping me out and i'm always glad to help him out as well and i'm gonna hook up these customs we're gonna get going and isn't it epic as hell that all of these guys are these are pretty much all of my favorite wrestlers besides john cena in here i mean who who are we leaving out here what a beautiful
beautiful looking haul, guys. We got the AJ Styles, we got Kurt Angle, Randy Orton, my boy Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. We got all these customs. We got all this good stuff going on. I can't wait to get started on the customs. You know we're going to knock them out of the park. And not even to mention that we have this beautiful looking door piece that I can use on the show and then possibly the MDT Royal Rumble. I mean, who knows, guys? The possibilities are endless. Be sure to go over to his Instagram page and give him a follow as well as go over to his YouTube channel. Guys, he is an absolute beast and I love him to death. So thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out to Undisputed Brotherhood again. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.